Hey everyone, it's Adaptive Goddess, and today I'm going to be talking about the first module of DBT, which is mindfulness. So the mindfulness topic is going to have to be um, unpacked more into several other videos because there's a lot of skills and exercises to unpack and kind of explain through. Mindfulness is important because it draws you back into the present moment. Instead of worrying about what you're gonna do two hours from now, a day from now, a week from now, or a year from now, it brings you back into the point that you are right now doing whatever you are doing. This helps lessen anxiety. It helps lessen other strong emotional responses too, such as anger or scared, or even super hyper, senses of joy and happiness. So there's a term in mindfulness that kind of is an overarching term for all of mindfulness and why we do it. And it's called wise mind. And that is the idea that we actually have three minds, which are our um, intellect, which is our fact-based reasoning, so our reason mind, our emotional mind, which is our feelings, and then our wise mind, which is a combination of the two that helps us look at problems in a very objective way that actually help us solve the problem instead of just getting further and further frustrated with it. So a good example in terms of just out in the world pop culture of someone who is in our reason mind is someone like Spock, who's very data oriented, who's very, um, let's just get this done because this is what the data says we should do. Someone who is only in their emotional mind would be someone like Piglet from Winnie the Pooh, who's just always so worried and always so scared to do everything because they're feeling so scared in that moment and that has to be what's going on. Another good example of someone who's always in emotional mind is Eeyore, the adorable donkey who's just so stuck in the negativity of how they're feeling. The best example I can give of someone who is in Wise Mind is um, season three, so the fire book of Avatar, The Last Airbender, is Aang, who knows he needs to do something about the Fire Lord, but doesn't want to hurt him as a human being. And combines those together to, spoiler alert, take away his uh, firebending. If you don't know any of these examples, I urge you to go look them up, uh, especially Avatar The Last Airbender. I could talk for days about that. Um, it is a good show that teaches a lot about wise mind in a very non-DBT way. <laughs> wise mind is taking not only your reasoning, but your emotion, kind of putting them together to solve a problem. So instead of just looking at facts and numbers or just feelings, you bring them together and say, hey, here's a problem. How do I need to solve it? Just like building Ikea furniture. That's a great way to use your wise mind. I will have a link down in the description below that has a worksheet that kind of helps you figure out how you get into your wise mind. What does your reasoning mind look like? And what does your emotional mind look like? And what does your wise mind look like? That way you know which state you're in so that you know whether or not a mindfulness exercise or skill is needed to um, help you propel yourself through the moment. So in the comment down below, based on these three descriptions of reasoning mind being facts, data and analysis, emotional mind being pure raw emotion, and wise mind being a combination of the two. What pop culture figure or literary character or just any cool thing that you have in terms of a character can you fit into one of the three categories? For me, reasoning totally screams Spock. I don't know anyone who's more analytically driven than Spock. Emotional mind to me is just the epitome of Piglet. I don't know who's 
any other character who's really more entrenched into their emotions and emotions driving their choices. And Wise Mind to me seems to be embodied by Aang in Avatar The Last Airbender Season 3. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and gently tap that like button. And remember to be kind, compassionate, and true to you.